So that is the Tinted Moisturizer slash BB Cream applied with the buffing brush. I added a bit of concealer, um, and that's it. I haven't set it or anything yet. Um, I don't know like what it looks to you guys, but um, I like it. It's nice and light. It doesn't feel like anything on your skin. It is fantastic to wear under foundation as a little bit of a tint with like the moisturizing properties in it. Um, that's an, also an option, but I think like during the summer, as the heat comes closer, I think this will be the only thing I'm wearing as long as my skin is good. I'll show you a new BB cream slash tinted moisturizer. It has been my favorite for like the past week since I got it. And I'll show you a demo. This is the Olay Fresh Effects BB Cream Skin Perfecting Tinted Moisturizing Cream. Now, this has the word BB cream and tinted moisturizer in the same sentence. And those are two different things. So it's kind of a weird product. And as you can tell, I have no makeup on. Um, I just did my eyes and I just prepped my skin with a moisturizer, primer, and a pore refiner. And so I'm going to show you how I apply this. This has two shades, which really sucks because that limits the people that can buy it. Um, there is a fair to light and light to medium, which is what this is. Um, it says, smooth onto face and neck every day for beautiful, beautifully even moisturized skin. I always use a moisturizer before I put anything on my face because my skin is so dry and I'm just so afraid that it's going to stick to dry patches. So I always apply a moisturizer first, no matter what I'm putting on. So I'm going to be applying the BB cream slash tinted moisturizer with the Real Techniques buffing brush. I will say that there is no, this is a very, very sheer coverage. It's pretty much just a moisturizer with a bit of a tint. I mean, if you're looking for a BB cream that has some coverage, this is not going to work. Um, it's, it is hydrating and moisturizing, yes, but for some coverage, no. I really only use this when my skin is behaving perfectly because I can throw this on, add some mascara, an eyeshadow, and go. So I'm not going to say that this is, like, I think they should take the word BB cream off and use tinted moisturizer because that's pretty much what it is and that's all it is. I personally actually really like it because it is very light moisturizing. Um, I do set it with a powder as I do everything else. So I'm going to show you guys how I apply this and the coverage it gives. I will say this does smell good. It actually reminds me of the Rimmel Wake Me Up Foundation. It has like a citrusy smell, which is not bad. I don't mind. Um, I think it's bearable. It's nothing really bad. Kind of buff it in. Like, you're not going to see a lot of coverage with this. I do just have a mirror just below the camera here, if you're wondering. So I can actually see what I'm doing. It's very moisturizing, very light. I mean, I think this will be perfect for summer because in the heat, foundation is just going to melt off my skin and anyone else's anyways, depending on where you live, of course, um, as it gets really hot and very humid here. So I just want something nice and light and I've been trying to find the perfect BB cream or tinted moisture or something that will withstand up to the heat. Now it's not really hot yet so I still have to try this during the summer but I'm hoping this will be my go-to BB cream slash tinted moisturizer. I mean if my skin's not behaving I won't wear it. I'll have to wear like a foundation or something like Max Studio Sculpt, Rimmel Wake Me Up, Laura Mercier Silk Cream, something like that that I have. Also I find when I set it with my MAC MSF, it gives a bit of a darker color. One shade down from this is the Fair to Light and that's going to be for like people that are in NW15 that are very very fair. That I um, tested it way too light. This is like an NW20, which is perfect for me. Um, and it matches my skin. Like I can bring it down onto my neck and it matches perfectly. I don't tan. I don't use um, face tan, fake tan on my face or anything. Um, I have put fake tan on my arms, which is the worst idea ever. 
I'm not going to get into that. So if you see any weird, like, orange... I was try testing out a fake tanner, and it went horribly wrong. So that's all I'm going to say. Um, but yeah, I don't tan on my face or anything, so... So... And I haven't done anything with my eyebrows yet, if you're wondering. I'm going to put this on, and then I would add, like, blush and, like, set it and stuff as normal. I'm pretty sure I actually I found it on sale and I had seen it in like a I want to say Teen Vogue or yeah I, I'm pretty sure it's Teen Vogue and it was an ad and I was like hey that's new I haven't seen that and um I went looking around the shelves and the store I was in at the time when I was looking at magazines because I picked up a Cosmo Politan magazine and I didn't see it so I just kind of like left him and was like, okay, like it's not in Canada yet. And then the store I was in, I'm not going to name, had a display of this BB cream, this, on the new Olay. It has like a, there's like a shine exfoliator. There's like a, it's, a couple, it's like the Fresh Effects, um, their new Fresh Effects line. Um... Now, I just kind of put this on light, you know, you're not going to see a lot of coverage with this. Once it sets, I find, it does give you a bit of coverage, which is which is good. I mean, you can build it up like I, I do a little bit. It's not going to cover, like, any spots or blemishes or anything. It's definitely not going to do that. I love this brush. This is so soft. It's the Real Techniques Buffing Brush. It's just like, I could just sit here all day. And I know um, Blair Fowler, Juicy Star 07, um, had done this in a favorites video, I, I believe. Um, something like that. And she wears the same shade as I do, as the other one would be way too light for her and I. Um, and I don't I just think it's a pretty good product. They could drop the word BB cream, as I said, because it's not. BB cream has more coverage. This is a moisturizing cream with a tint kind of thing. So, I mean, it's just my personal opinion, but it's a bit expensive. I, I think it was about $16 Canadian with tax. Um, you do get 75 milliliters. I, I mean, there's probably better things on the market there that I haven't tried, so, but that's okay. I'm just gonna, I really like to buff this in and then let it set. I'm going to show you, this is the finished look. Um, so that is the Tinted Moisturizer slash BB Cream applied with the buffing brush. I added a bit of concealer um, and that's it. I haven't set it or anything yet.